Well, hello, Wine Wednesday Errs. <laughs> I'm Sherilyn. Welcome to Makeup University. This is a Wine Wednesday that wasn't quite planned. Oh, yeah. So if you saw last week, you saw me say, oh, I'm going to stick to my health and fitness. I'm going to eat clean. I'm going to watch portions. I'm going to cut out any savory sweet snacks. And the best way I can cut out calories is to eliminate wine. I'm here to tell you it lasted five days. <laughs> five days. Oh. There's the phone. Okay, so meet this little cutie. It's called Crook and Prospect Vintners. And it's got this, this thing literally got my money because of the label. Do, 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 bumping along through Grocery Outlet. And I had three surprise events, birthdays, blah, blah, blahs this week. And that last time that I was just gonna swing on in, grab a gift bottle of wine, I saw this. What I like about shopping for wine at Grocery Outlet, and irony, as I'm checking out, the young guy who was doing uh, the checking, doing my groceries, he says, he looks at it and he's like, wow. Did you know that the store alone goes through a minimum of eight pallets of wine per week? <laughs> Guilty. So I got the gift wine and I bought this. And the thing about buying at Grocery Outlet is that it'll show the retail price. Like, oh, this would be $17.99 retail. But then it was $3.99 at Grocery Outlet because it is an outlet like TJ Maxx or Ross for clothing grocery outlet is good for wine. So I picked this up. I was double happy because it is a screw cap. Yes, I do have that beautiful, you know, Board Puppy Productions gave me this really beautiful, uh, the hand crank kind, like I'm not using the little plastic one anymore. But I don't, I don't want to, I hurt my arm typing. There you go. So uh, it's real, like it's better now, but a couple days ago, oh, it was like, like a dog with a limp paw yelping. Like it was really sore. I've been putting salon pass. I finally broke down, took an IBU. I think I just have to rest it. So I couldn't use this thingy. So I got a screw cap, crack that sucker open. Crook and Prospect Vintners 2017, Cab Sav, California, blah, 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 governmental warnings. The 1849 California Gold Rush attracted waves of hopeful immigrant prospectors in search of fortunes. Boom, that's all you need to know. This was a delicious medium bodied red wine and they describe it as, oh, and then there comes, with that came nefarious crooks preying on their hard work. Crook and Prospect represents the wild west of California wine. Our Cab Sav displays silky smooth dark fruits with a long and luscious finish, ideal with grilled steak, pepperoni pizza, or when panning for gold. How fun is that? You guys, for $3.99, I'm gonna say thumbs up. It was so good. And uh, I got some lovely gift wines and all three bottles were under $20 after tax, just at the $20 mark. So great buys, great wine, everybody's happy. And okay, as of today, I will be back on the health kick. Amen. Part of what helped this wine go down is, if you've seen the other videos from this week where I'm reviewing the last day's survival guide, and I chit chat on the state, my opinion and state of what is available on subscription streaming television right now, I'm abhorred at the level of perversion, pornography, profanity, all the peace, not the good peace. And so I came across uh, the reruns of Downton Abbey and I remember watching a few episodes here and there whenever I was at my parents and it was on PBS. I started on 
episode one, season one, and I am just having so much fun. I gotta go to Downton and have some sips, usually a little bite of dark chocolate, and I am just enjoying the show, and it proves, oh, this, I was gonna point, but this arm hurts so bad, I should wear a sling. It proves that story and character, scenery, setting, set design, wardrobe, hair, oh, it proves that that is plenty to move a story, to hook a viewer, to get the viewer to come back. Because I am in the middle of season two. My favorite thing about the show is that I think we started in 1910, but now we're in 19, 19, 1913. No, 1919. Um, we're watching the family. They just went through the war. And wow, it's just so good. So I feel like it's proof that there is a way to have um, great content without graphic profanity and sexuality and just, there's, there's room for wholesome family entertainment, let's put it that way. Because Downton, uh, maybe your toddlers don't wanna watch this, but your preteens could and could enjoy it. And I love, because I'm always looking at the hair and the wardrobe and part of, there was a real turn. When they first started, they had nothing on, no makeup. But now we're starting to see a little bit of lip color and we're seeing them use the original version of the curling iron for hair and their dresses have changed and I just love it. It's so good. If you haven't watched Downton Abbey, the series is available on Peacock which is the NBC Universal streaming subscription service. The show is free. So if you download the app to your Xbox One, like I did, you'll be able to stream it and watch it and enjoy it and maybe sip some wine. Oh, and they're always drinking wine. And they do a very interesting thing with their wine. Uh, well, they have their butlers do it. You'll see Mr. Carson, just a grudgy curmudgeon of a guy. Uh, you'll see him pour the bottle of wine through thick tablecloth, table napkins, into a funnel, into <clears throat> beautiful crystal vase, crystal vase, depending on where you're from. What he's doing is he's removing the tannins, like saying I'm removing the hangover. So anyhow, uh, I enjoy this wine. I'm going to get back. Let me pull it up for you right here. It's called uh, Crooks and Prospects. Vintners, Cab Sab, California Wine, 2017. Amen. So good. You guys, back on the health kick with me. Oh, on a side note before I go, I did see Dry Farm Wines, and it is a subscription wine service. They do offer free shipping, but it's $160 for six bottles. Ouch. For me, that's anywhere from $30 to $60 for six bottles. And this was $159 plus tax, no shipping. Tax in Burbank is 10.5%. So I would be paying an extra $16. So, um, yeah, like one, maybe $168, $169, somewhere in there for six bottles. And I just felt like, not today, not in the COVID times. Maybe after COVID, but as for now, grocery outlet $3.99, boo, crooks and prospects, so good. You guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. If you have a favorite $10 and other wine, please let me know. Uh, tell me in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, be sure you do. Ding the bell so you don't miss a video. And we'll get back to our regular scheduled programming next week in the summer of something. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you for watching. I'm Sherilyn. This is Makeup University. And remember, you look really gorgeous today.